What's up YouTube? This is gonna be my first video where you'll actually hear my voice. I'm trying to work on restoring this Tyco Burlington F9 number 150. Uh, I was in pretty bad shape as you'll see from the photos at the beginning of this video. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened to it, but it looked definitely as if it was sitting in a damp space for a while as evidenced with the corrosion that's on this weight cover on the bottom, and then you also see corrosion on these wheels, uh, the front wheels, uh, the brass contacts are completely corroded. As far as the motor goes, if you look inside there, uh, you can see that the motor still looks intact, and without popping out the trucks, I can see that there's no rust or anything internally on the motor, so the motor, at least for all intents and purposes, looks like it should run. So in this video, I'm going to try to get it to run, and I'm going to show you basically the steps I normally take whenever I get a dilapidated Tyco locomotive and restore it back to power. Now this has Tyco's infamous MU2 motor. So without a shadow of a doubt, unless this motor has been completely flooded or completely destroyed or there's a disconnected wire, this train will run because those motors are virtually indestructible. So I'm going to put it on the tracks, and for the rest of this video, you won't hear me talking. You're just going to hear the train as it will come back to life. 